Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Ali Shamo here and welcome to more uh, video tutorial for Radio Master TX16S. Yes, you have watched my video how to update the Radio Master TX16S to add the OMF Hobby protocol so that you can fly all OMF Hobby products using the internal receivers without having to have an external receiver installed. So saves the money, saves the troubles and doubles the fun. In this video, I'm going to show you how to bind your OMF Hobby T720, this superb, amazing, top of the list in my most favorite highly recommended plane this amazing glider t720 how to bind it to ready master tx16s and how to configure your model to fly and use all of the features of this plane so let's get to work All right, setting the model is really simple. Apart from the sounds that you will hear, well, those are the choices of the people, how they want their sounds to be. I'm gonna show you the switches and the setup that I did. I'm just gonna show you the setup that I did on this radio uh, for this T720 model. So what you're gonna do is a start with a brand new model, of course. And for that, I'm just, I'm just not going to repeat that, but just to show you how to set up a new model. You need to click and hold this dial, then go to model select, then again click and hold, okay, and say create model. Now in this, you will go and select plane, go ahead, click on this, say does your model have a motor on channel 3, yes, move forward, uh, number of ailerons on your model choose to one or two with Y cable okay click go forward does your model have flaps no go forward this one leave as it is okay channel 2 and channel 4 go forward and select yes all is well create the plan click on it once the model has been created go press the model button okay and press and hold a little bit give it a name i gave it name OMPT 720 i also had a jpeg file made and copied for this which you actually see right here on the screen okay and then uh, having to have that you have already watched my tutorials on how to update the radio master tx16 as firmware to have own hobby protocol okay after that video if you have done that even you come down to multi protocol in the internal rf you will select omp from the list okay uh, after that if we go up for the timer because as a no limit this plane flies very very long so i just put the timer on THS and gave it a minute call as well because I just want it to keep recording keep increasing the time until I know what was the complete time I flew the plane for okay you can always set it upside down like in descending order like for example you want to fly the plane for eight minutes so you can always set that and let it count down now go next to uh, inputs where you have aileron elevator throttle rudder all 100 percent no change go to the mixes and here i added three switches on channel five i'm using switch sf okay which is a two position switch on channel six i'm using switch sh which is a momentarily spring loaded switch and on channel seven i'm using switch sc which is a three position switch and it will change flight modes okay so these are the switches that you will set how to set a switch that is very easy just go to a free channel okay and all you need to do is press and hold the dial and then you have your mix name give it a name and click here and move a switch of your choice that you want to choose this is how you actually assign a switch and give it a name so I'm just gonna delete it because I don't need it okay I just show you uh, an example so this is the way I added three switches SF SH and SC SF two position on channel 5 which will uh, arm and disarm the motor SH on channel 6 which will perform auto aerobatics uh, snap roll in the air and SC which will change flight modes from beginner that is 6G stabilization is on 
to sports where stabilization is on but you can perform aerobatics in uh, so there are only two modes and you just need two uh, position switch but I don't have any more two position switch so I put it on SC you can always use a dial or slider for this purpose as well does not matter so the thing is that the channel 7 switches the plane from 6G stabilized mode where you do not where you cannot do aerobatics and it's super beginner friendly to yeah. sports yeah. mode to sports mode where you can perform aerobatics and stabilization is still on. After that, there is nothing. This is my uh, reverse assignment. As you can see, I didn't reverse anything right here. Okay. So, next, 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 next. There's nothing except that on the special functions, I have added some sounds. For example, uh, you know for the switches and flight modes that I'm doing after that there's nothing return 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 and obviously you can set the screen as per your own choice now if you want to know the sounds that are coming from different flight modes on SF take off disarm okay and snap roll for this you have to have some throttle your plan should have some throttle in any mode sports mode or stabilized mode and then when you press and hold your plane will do auto aerobatics make sure the plane is at a good altitude otherwise you might be not be able to do it properly and may get crashed and here's a flight mode sport stabilize sport stabilize that's it that's all so that was that easy to set up your plane with the radio master tx 16 s now that you have set up the model on your Radio Master TX16S, binding this plane is super duper easy. First thing first, you just want to go to the Radio Master TX16S, go to internal modules, uh, internal RF, where you have selected multi and OMP, and put the cursor on bind. Now come to the, uh, now come to the aircraft and take this nose piece off. Now it is slightly tricky, but if you look from here, uh, you can actually see that there, right there, this white one, if you can see it, this white one down here is a button right there. That is your bind button. So you, you don't have to, you know, disintegrate or break the form. Just push this button. See? You will hear a click. Just push and hold the button after you have powered on your aircraft. Once you power on the aircraft, you see a blue solid LED. So all you need to do is push and hold this button. Okay, so let me just do it. Okay, and now you can see the LED is blinking really fast. And now you just go ahead and click bind here. And the LED turned off. And then went solid okay you should have some distance between this and now you can check okay so if you move the sticks you can see everything is working so you have bound the plane and if you have followed my model settings everything should be working properly you can disarm you can see the motor is not working you can arm motor working okay and once the motor starts you can see the stabilization is working All right see how the aileron stays up and if you choose sports mode you can see aileron doesn't stay up it stabilizes the plane but it goes down back to its original position allowing you to do aerobatics in the air so everything is actually working mashallah I mean, look at, look at this man. It is just superb. One of the most superb RC plants you will ever put your hands on. This is why it's always top of the top of the list of my airplanes and now I'm super happy. I'm flying it with TX16S radio control. You know, this is the plane I can actually keep playing line of sight and never get bored of it. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button, 
It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work. That I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right